Hello everyone, welcome to the video of centralized admission process for FYDC standard 11. This is the notification for regular round one. So this regular round one, and as we all are aware that the 11th admission .org .in is the website from which we can apply for to the various divisions of Maharashtra for centralized admission process. And if you are from Pune, then or PCMC, then you can go for Pune Element Admissions .org .in. Now, this is regular round one. In the last video, we have checked for quota admissions. So this is regular round one. This is starting from 8th of June, this round and the applications form for form filling for this round will be from 8th June to 12th of June. So here, what are we going to do? Here, uh, this is called as round one. It means we will start filling part two. Part two is option form filling. Here we can check preference filling for cap seats. That is submission of option form. It means you need to set preferences for junior colleges where you would like to uh, seek admissions, where you are looking forward for the admissions. So as per that, as per the preferences, you need to go ahead for the centralized admission process part two filling. Now, how we need to go ahead? So students need to enroll minimum one and maximum 10 junior college in the option form. My suggestion to the students, if you want any junior college, so go for the first preference of it. And then as per your preferences, one, two, three, four, five, up to 10, you can view 10 different junior colleges. If student will get allotment, in the first junior college, then they need to seek admissions. They need to confirm admission there itself. If they don't take, as per that, as per the rules, which will be shared uh, later, you will be able to take the admissions or you will be out of the round. So the rules will be shared soon. So here, students need to lock their application to participate in the round. Okay. After option form filling, you need to lock the application to participate in the regular round one. Now, for uh, participation in this round, uh, that is round one and part two locking, you need to have first part one verification process to be completed. You need to verify part one first and then you can participate in this regular round one. Now students, those who are yet to complete their part one registration, so they can check with the part one editing, they can check with the part one form filling and they get verified from guidance centers and accordingly you will be able to go ahead for the option form filling. That is part two. So um, 12th Jan, uh, June uh, 2020 23, the application form for part one will be closed by 4 p.m. and it will should be verified by guidance center by 6 p.m. Then on 13th of June, the part one publication list for merit list will be there. So it will be the merit list, which is uh, for part one. And as per the part one, round one uh, uh, list of students, they will publish the provisional merit list. And uh, based on that, students can go ahead for rounds. Now here it is mentioned 13th of June to 15th of June, uh, part one publication of merit list of part one field students and verified students who will be eligible for this CAP process. And then on 15th of June till 10 p.m., option form part two for CAP round closes by 10 p.m. and any grievances will be cleared and, uh, and cons by consent de department, it will be cleared. The final general list, it is only for part two log students will be considered for the CAP allotment and admission the data will be processed in between 16th of June to 18th of June and the list of eligible candidates will be also given. On 19th of June, this, it will display the junior college allotment list for the round on the portal. So on portal, that is 11th admission portal itself, on 19th, there will be the display of round one allotment, regular round one allotment. And then from 19 to 22nd, students can visit the allotted junior college, upload documents and get verified and go ahead for the further admission process by con contacting to the junior college uh, for which you got the allotment for. As per the uh, seats which get filled in the round or uh, the regular round one, based on that, the new registration and the 
new uh, seat matrix will be displayed, the vacancy list will be displayed, and accordingly, you can participate for the further rounds. Here, it has been mentioned that 22-6-2023 till 8 p.m., time for junior college to upload the status of admitted students on the portal. And here, on 23rd uh, June, they will display the vacancy for regular round two. It means the entire regular round one will be from 19th of uh, June to 22nd of June. And in the time which is given for students after the allotment of admission, students need to confirm their admission in these days only. In these dates only. So students be ready with all the documents which are required to confirm your admissions. Wishing you all the best and Let's go ahead and have the successful admission process for 23-24. Thank you so much. And the further notifications and every circular will be updated to you via this channel only. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.